Today, I'm DIYing a standalone laundry room shelf. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Hi guys, if you're new to my channel or if you're returning, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you how I DIY'd a standalone laundry room shelf. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate a thumbs up. The inspiration for this shelf came from Pinterest. I was looking to put a second shelf in my laundry room over the washer and dryer, but I knew that I needed to do it on a budget. And my go-to stores are still closed due to the quarantine. It can be used for it over the washer and dryer shelf, or it can be used for the back of a sofa. It just all depends upon how tall you make the legs. So I decided that that would be the perfect shelf that I would need in my laundry room. My husband and I went over to Home Depot to pick up the items that we needed to make this small makeover on a budget. I picked up a white floating shelf from Home Depot along with some wooden dowels that were covered in white laminate. I picked up some brackets and I picked up some double-sided screws. And I'm going to use these items to create a shelf that will stand over my washer and dryer. So let's get started. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so now I've got all four legs to the laundry room shelf cut. Now I'm going to add a double end screw to the tip of each leg so that I can screw them into the bracket. Today's video is in participation with the DIY challenge hosted by Heidi Sambal Home. I will leave a link to Heidi's channel along with the playlist so that you can see the other participants participating in this challenge. Okay, now I've got all four double-sided screws in the tops of the legs. Now I'm gonna add the brackets. I'm gonna mark where I pre-drill the holes to add the brackets. Okay guys, we're almost done. I got the brackets on the bottom of the shelf. Now we're gonna add the legs. And now I'm going to add the E6000 to the molding that I'm that I'm going to add to the front of the shelf.
Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my over the washer and dryer standalone shelf. As I said earlier, this is going to be a part of my laundry room makeover. So you're going to have to come back and stay tuned for that video. If you enjoyed it, and I hope that you did, leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. At the end of this video, you'll see a couple video links. Click one to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned in. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.